our other Conrod videos have had tons and tons of views, so I thought it about time that we updated uh, some of the information that we've got out there in regarding to our, our range of Conrods. Just recapping for a moment, we started off with the original Ford BA rod. This is the this is the rod that comes out in the engines up to the fifth month, 2005. Quite a spindly long rod. They break and bend fairly easily. Um, Ford upgraded to a slightly beefier rod, which they call the Typhoon rod or the LP gas rod or whatever. It's a better rod, a little bit stronger than this by about probably 10%, I would estimate. Obviously not up to uh, high performance duties, but nevertheless, Ford recognised that there was problems, so they addressed it. Um, our most common and popular con rod is the Super Leggera. Uh, this is a, a rod that is a H-beam construction. It weighs around about 620 grams, so it's quite a light rod, hence the name. Um, it has pressurised oil feed up to the gudgeon pin, which cools the crown of the piston as well, which is quite beneficial. Our fat rod, which most people know about, is in all the big banger engines. A little bit heavier, 710 grams, including the bolts. It's very, very strong, very rigid, and, uh, and can withstand the, uh, the, the pressures of 900,000 plus kilowatt engines. Our latest addition is the Street Talker Conrod, which is a uh, rod that we've released for engines up to the sort of 500, 550 kilowatt range. It's a cheaper Conrod to manufacture. It's obviously cheaper to sell. They're under, uh, under $900 a set, including ARP bolts. So they're quite a good rod, very, very durable, and also quite light, 610 grams, including bolts. So quite a good choice for normally aspirated applications or high performance applications up to the, the 500 kilowatt or so range. For the Big Banger race engines, we've done an aluminium rod now. It's machined out of 2618. It's quite a strong Conrod. Not as strong as any of these rods, of course, but it has the, the shock, shock absorber effect of aluminium, uh, able to withstand some of the shock loadings of combustion forces. We've put a much larger gudgeon pin in it. We've gone up to a 25 millimeter gudgeon pin from a 22 uh, to uh, allow us to have a lot more structural integrity in the top half of the motor. And um, this will be going in all our you know, 1800 to 2000 plus horsepower engines in the future. And for all those Conrod junkies out there, I've got one other little rod here that you might be interested in having a look at. That's the CA2012 Conrod out of the current Cosworth V8 Formula One engine. Um, 280 grams, including bolts. Very, very lightweight, as you can see, it's made out of titanium. Um, revs to 20,000 RPM with a one and a half inch stroke crank. So uh, that's what it takes in Formula One to, uh, to play with the big boys. And uh, we can see why we get such uh, massive RPM out of these engines.